Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Today, giving an update on my ongoing saga with my Delta Pros. I did uh, a previous video and then another previous video on the problems I'm having with where suddenly my extra battery was not being recognized by uh, my Delta Pros. Um, don't have necessarily the best of updates, but continue to work with uh, Echo Flow support. And uh, they tried several things, which included another firmware update uh, that essentially completely bricked the Delta Pro. Um, so the extra batteries work with another Delta Pro. I have three others. Um, and if I connect them to those, they work. But after the latest update, like the Delta Pro is just completely bricked. Um, and so they're going to ask us to send it back. So I'm going to be, well, first, they're going to ship out a new Delta Pro to, or a different, I don't know if it's going to be new, might be refurbished, but a different Delta Pro to me. Um, and I'm going to hook the batteries to it and make sure, obviously, that it works. And then I will be shipping back the bricked Delta Pro that is unresponsive at this time back to EcoFlow, and they will probably do a post-diagnostic on it or whatever. Um, all in all, you know, still very frustrating. Uh, frustrating that it took so long to, to work through it and then to get to the point where it truly is like completely <laughs> uh, dead is yeah, disappointing in many ways. Now, I guess uh, the positive is that, as uh, I have mentioned before, EcoFlow is standing by their product. Um, that is why I chose them. Uh, it wasn't necessarily because they were more affordable or that it, their system was necessarily simpler. Um, but it was mostly because I, I needed a good warranty behind the product. And uh, even though the sometimes the mechanism is slow, uh, they do ultimately stand by it. And... Uh, I do appreciate that, so I, I don't want to undersell that by any means. However, uh, so what I do want to talk about some lessons learned, and this is the one that I would definitely call out for anyone. If your Delta Pro and or extra batteries and smart home panel are working well in your house, I would not do any firmware updates, no matter how long it's been, um, because <laughs> there is a significant risk. It has happened. It happened to to me, but also if some of you have reported the same behavior, and there's a very good chance that something will go very much awry, um, possibly to the point where you have a unit that is completely useless. Um, and unless you want to deal with that, which I don't know anyone who would want to, I wouldn't do the firmware update. Uh, I, I, I just can't honestly advise you in, in with any kind of confidence that, yeah, it's going to be a great experience for you. It's going to be wonderful because it's not. It's been a bad experience. Uh, even up to this point, prior to this whole debacle, I still held my breath every time we did a firmware update because it has not gone well. And um, this was like, it really can't go much worse than it went this time. The other thing I'll mention, and I'll try to share on screen here or somewhere, uh, so EcoFlow does have some guidelines that they do not have in the manual uh, recommendation of a process of how you would update your Delta Pro um, as well as both extended batteries uh, if you have two connected to it. And it requires you plugging and unplugging the batteries to the Delta Pro in sequence to ensure they get this update. Um, again, uh, that didn't help in this situation because I don't... I don't fully understand why it didn't, but clearly it didn't. And uh, so I will mention that. And again, I'll put it up here. Um, but basically, you have to do the update on the Delta Pro with one battery attached in port one. It has to be port one. Then after that update is fully complete, you can then power down, unplug battery one from port one, put battery two in port one, start everything back up download and do the firmware update again. Usually it'll show up again. Um, and then it should do it to the second battery. Then you need to power everything down and plug both batteries in to your ports. And in theory, <laughs> if you don't have the terrible experience I did, that should cause everything to work successfully with the latest updates. Again, I'm not sure I can recommend you do any updates. I would not. If your system is working well, 
don't do the updates. If you got problems, then maybe you need to do the updates and, and maybe it'll improve things. But bottom line, update, the firmware update has not been a good, smooth sailing experience for very many people. Lastly, I don't want to make this all about the problem um, that I'm having, but I do wanted to share a few updates on the smart home panel too, uh, and that might be useful because some of this, uh, this whole situation has clarified things. So the, again, Smart Home Panel 2 is a, is a nice leap forward from the Smart Home Panel 1. I went through that in the previous video on it and uh, it has been working pretty well. Um, however, uh, there are some limitations that I think is important you understand, particularly if you're using the original Delta Pros with it. So the only way to use the original Delta Pros with the Smart Home Panel 2 is by purchasing a double voltage hub, connecting two Delta Pros together, and then connecting that double voltage hub to the smart home panel too. That means <laughs> if you're in a situation like I am where one of your Delta Pros is out, you have no way of powering the smart home panel. A single Delta Pro by itself will not power that uh, smart home panel. All, it, it will, it's useless. The only thing you can do is recharge the Delta Pro from it. So right now until I get a replacement, my smart home panel is done at the moment like no there's no disruption of course because it's taking it from the grid but I'm not able to use any of the battery capacity even though I have a Delta Pro and two extra batteries available so that's kind of a negative if you're using the old Delta Pro with the new smart home panel with the original smart home panel you could still use a single Delta Pro and power your house from it and that would be better in this situation. The other little piece of feedback I've noticed on the Smart Home Panel 2, which uh, has come from regular usage, when I did have both Delta Pros up and running and connected to it, um, I naively, I think, thought by using the double voltage hub that it would draw down from the two Delta Pros evenly. I thought it was would work kind of like an auto transformer. Um, I didn't realize that, you know, I. I guess I don't know enough about the electrical inner workings of this, but I just kind of thought that's how it would work. And um, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, it will draw uneven loads from the uh, Delta Pros. So you might have one unit kicking in 300 watts of, of power while the other one's kicking in 700 watts of power. Obviously, that's going to contribute to balance problems. And um, you, what happens is you very much can get a battery down to a lower state of charge and it cuts off even though the other battery has maybe significant state of charge. The other thing is it doesn't dynamically consider which uh, unit has more capacity or more input. So, you know, if, if Delta Pro 1 has, you know, two extra batteries connected to it um, for 10 kilowatts of power, and the other Delta Pro has nothing, so it's only three kilowatts of power. Well, it doesn't make the Delta Pro uh, one uh, with the extra capacity, it doesn't make it provide more power and the other one provide less. Um, so you could easily exhaust your, your second Delta Pro um, while you still have a ton of capacity left in the one Delta Pro. Now, obviously you'd wanna balance that and do your best to, you know, you wouldn't put two batteries on one and not on the other, but I'm just trying to highlight that it doesn't work that way in case you thought maybe it did. Now, of course, if you had a Delta Pro 3 or a Delta Pro Ultra, you could have a single unit powering the smart home panel. And honestly, that would work a little better than trying to run two Delta Pros through a dual voltage hub because uh, it would draw equally from that one unit um, and you wouldn't have this balancing issue um, that does show up uh, on a daily basis with a double voltage hub. So um, really what's clear to me is the smart home panel was intended from the beginning to work with the Ultra and the Delta Pro 3. It was like, ah, we can kind of shoehorn a solution to use the Delta Pros, original ones, but it's not real good. Um, it works okay. Um, there's a lot of like hiccups and nuances with it. So something to be aware of if you do have Delta Pros, um, something to think about with Smart Home Panel 2 that uh, you absolutely can use it. I've been using it. It works well enough, but there are, again, I call them nuances or hiccups that 
make it less good than it otherwise could be. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to, one, give you an update on what happened. What I mean, there was a lot that happened, so I'm not recapping everything. But bottom line, what happened at the very end is Delta or EcoFlow pushed, uh, tried to, and they told me that before they did it that it was kind of like a last-ditch attempt. And since it wasn't working I, uh, very well, I, I gave them my assent. They remotely pushed a, a firmware update and that what ultimately happened is that bricked the Delta Pro. It's not responsive at all, um, at all. <laughs> and so they are going to have to ship out a replacement unit and I'm going to have to send this one back to them. So they are making it right. They're going to fix it. Um, I'm hopeful that this will resolve the issue. Um, but I do think this is just my opinion. But the problem was not with the Delta Pro, it was with the, soft, the series of software updates, firmware updates that were sent to it, rendered it unusable. I don't think there was any failure in the unit itself. Um, I do believe it was all firmware related. That's, I mean, it's hard for me to prove that being in my position, but I feel pretty strongly it was working really, really well. Started doing these updates and then all of a sudden things didn't work well. And then they did the last firmware update and it just, just died.